M0 FXB, welcome to my videos on the Zygo X6200 and X6100. And today we're running my Android device using the FT8CN app. You can see there we've gone into transmit. All you do is add your USB C into the port that's marked DEV on the right hand side, plug it into your Android device, make sure that you have enabled developers mode. Just Google how to do that, it's quite straightforward. Then in your settings window, we just put in our call sign, our grid square, move that out of the way. Scrolling up, we selected a frequency, but you can select it from the front screen. Cat control, because we're using a cable. And USB. I think that was about it. We didn't change the board rate, but we did select the radio which is here, if you tap, you can select the radio you're on. Now remember the Zygo X6 100 and 200 have got that nice built-in sound card. So if you've got older radios, you know, you might have to have an interface between or you could try it in Vox mode. But it is transmitting and receiving, we've only just set it up. So there you go. So then we go to the decode screen, just so you tap here. And we're on the decode screen. Now my antenna isn't great here, though we are getting some signals. You can still use your tuner and all that kind of stuff. And eventually as it decodes, you'll see the core signs actually on the waterfall. You've got some stations here and how to change band whilst you're just viewing. You've got these options here. If you tap the three lines there, so the second block down, you can select a different frequency, so just to show you, we'll select... Oh, oh, don't want to drop it. It's in the middle of transmitting, but when it finishes, we'll select 20 meters in a sec. Just like so, and it will change band. Signal output, so... You know, if you're not getting a good enough signal for your ALC, you can adjust that. There is a world map here, which is pretty cool. Let's just tap it. Look at that. I mean, you swipe it in from the left. And you get all that. So the best way to learn these things is just to tinker. That's all I do. I just tinker. I don't actually know what I'm doing most of the time. And if it works, it works. And to transmit... Let's just go like so, go back to the original screen. Just by pressing the back button. You can call CQ, but you can just hold your finger on it and go call. And it brings you to this window and then it will just start transmitting to that station. And you've got a CQ here as well. You've got QSO logs, Spectrum ET. So have fun with it. And I'm what I'm going to do in the same video, I'm going to quickly put on my X6 100 and just it shouldn't be I shouldn't need to change anything apart from swapping it over Right, so there it is We'll, we'll move the Zygu. We'll move the antenna Across It's just a long wire 49 to 1 ballon the main thing is turn off all your LED lights then we'll grab the USB-C Like I said, it's the top plug marked DV, we'll plug it in. We get this, let me show you the message we get. So always open FT8CM when USB serial is connected. So I'm gonna tick it and click OK. Then you've got two gray lines there. Select the bottom one and we're there. Sorry, it's gone. And you heard it click into action there. So it should just carry on. And that's the X6100. Let's change. Yeah, it's already done it. Look, gone into transmit. Still use your antenna. You've got a signal here. Be nice to actually get a contact, wouldn't it? What power are we? Five watts by the looks of it. There's no external power. 5 watt there, we'll just quickly change band, uh, let's go to, oops, they are, uh, well it's sort of trying quite hard isn't it, 
you can see it's fully working. Let it finish its thing. Just change the bands. I'm going to hit Corsa Q. Give it a go. Great fun. Bye for now.